Hi everyone, I'm back at the boat again and I'm ready to get some work done. And this time I think we're mainly going to focus on getting the engine prepared and possibly getting it back inside the boat. And then the centerboard here is in my way of being able to weld up the holes where the hoists go through the cabin top and that's stopping me from fairing and painting the cabin top. So the centerboard's got to get painted and it's got to get back inside the centerboard box, which means that the centerboard box inside has to also be painted. So yeah, uh, there'll be other little projects that pop up here and there, I'm sure, as I can and can't do certain things. Uh, so uh, let's get started. I'm going to finish painting the engine cradle while the weather is nice here and tomorrow I'll start servicing the engine. I've got here a Yanmar 4J2HTE. Uh, it's a 75 horsepower max diesel turbo engine. It's reliable and it's simple, and I like that on a boat. So, uh, first let's just see if I can get the crankshaft to spin here. Uh, if I can't, that means that the cylinders inside are seized up and then I've got to do a whole bunch of other stuff to try and unseize them. So hopefully this will turn. I don't know. That seems like an awful lot of force to me. Um, did turn the crankshaft bolt, which probably isn't a great thing. Let me just come over here and talk to you guys this way where we're out of the wind a bit more. Yeah, so I'm gonna open up the fuel injectors, which are right over here along the top side, and I'll pour some easing oil down inside of there. Um, basically, I'm gonna use automatic transmission fluid and a little bit of acetone and I'll let that soak for a while and then I'll come back and see if I can turn the crankshaft again. Um, but while that's doing its thing, I'm just gonna try and clean up the exterior of the engine as well because it could use it. So let's give that a shot. It's really too bad I have to work on this today because the weather is gorgeous and it'd be great to be painting instead. Okay, so Here's the injector. You can see some of that crud is getting in there. The tip of it is pretty blackened and the barrel of it is rusty. So this is really the big indication of what's going on with this engine. It's been sitting, hasn't been running a long time, and that means uh, that means that this rust has been allowed to build up because the oil has evaporated away or drained off and uh, the rust has formed. So a tiny bit of rust can seize up an engine, especially a diesel engine, which has pretty tight tolerances. So I'm gonna get the rest of these injectors off and I'm gonna put some Marvel Mystery Oil down inside of there. So these holes here below the injector go straight into the cylinders and the piston inside of there has rings that seal up against the wall of the cylinder. 
and if there's rust on those rings, they seize the piston to the cylinder wall, and that'll stop it from moving. The other thing that might be causing problems is the valves, which are underneath here, which let air in and exhaust out. Uh, those have just a regular steel guide, and that could be rusted. And the valves are actuated by the camshaft, and the camshaft is turned by the crankshaft, so if the valves are seized, then it could be stopping the whole rotation as well. And the last thing is the raw water pump that takes in seawater for cooling. Um, it has a shaft drive from the crankshaft as well, and that might be rusted. So uh, I'm gonna get to those things as well. I'll just do them all at the same time and put the, the easing oil on it. Um, I don't know which one it really is, but this will cover everything and it'll help lubricate the engine for the first fire up when we get there. And uh, yeah. And if this doesn't work, then I may consider just going to all electric drive right now. Uh, it'll cost me about $10,000 to do that conversion and I don't want to spend that kind of money right now, but it's something that I eventually want to do, so if I have to, I will do. So here's the stuff I'm going to use. I believe this is basically automatic transmission fluid with some kind of thinner in it, which was what I was going to use myself, automatic transmission fluid and acetone, but uh, this is pre-mixed, so. some down in each one. All right, it looks like the valve cover just has these three bolts that hold it in place.
way down inside of here. All right, so actually none of this looks dry or rusted. It all looks like it has oil. I mean, you can see oil on the top of it. It's got a shininess on all of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just clean any little chunks of debris that I have in there and seal it back up. Of course, I'm going to have to go and buy some sealant. But, yeah, this looks fine. So, that's encouraging. That oil is still up there at the top. That probably means that the pistons are okay as well. And might just mean that the raw water pump is the only thing that's frozen up, which would be great news. So, yeah, we put the valve cover on here just temporarily and uh, let's look at the raw water pump next. We're on the bottom side of the engine now. This is the raw water pump. The water comes up out of the through hull into here and gets routed up into heat exchangers and sent off to other heat exchangers and eventually it ends up in the exhaust elbow which is just up here off screen um, yeah so I just need to get this hose off and there's four bolts under here two of them are not super easy to get to because of this engine mount but we'll make I've been waiting on the easing oil to do its work. It's been about two days since I put it in now, I guess. And you see I got a little bit of a paint job going on. Good enough for me. Now, I did try cranking on the crankshaft bolt again with the, the big breaker bar, and that didn't shake the engine loose. So what I've done instead is hooked up a battery, and I'm gonna try and bump the starter motor and see if I can get some life out of it with the starter motor. So hopefully the starter motor works and hopefully the engine doesn't shake like crazy when I do this because it's just on a couple of boards right now. But I think I'm tied down well enough that if I just bump it, it should be okay. Let's give it a try. myself 
for leasing oil. <laughs> All right, so the engine is not seized. It's just too tough to turn over by hand, which I kind of expected. So that's great news. Um, I hope I caught that eruption of mystery oil flying all over the top of me. <laughs> I didn't expect it to come out that fast. So, um, yeah. All right, so great news. That's how you unseize an engine that wasn't seized up to begin with, probably. <laughs> Turned out to be a really warm day today, about 80 degrees, so I uh, got my suntan for sure today. Uh, we got the engine to crank over and I got all the paint done on it and it's ready to go back down inside into its cradle. And yeah, I'm excited that this is working out. I, I was really afraid that I'd have to take the cylinder head off of this and uh, you know, I have to go through a bunch of trouble with it, but uh, it turned out great. So, on to the next thing. Uh, hope you enjoyed another episode, and I'll see you back here next week.